Jin's Velo is a human electric hybrid tricycle that its maker, Peter, claims will change the way we commute and travel. It does this with an extremely light canopy enclosure protecting you from the elements and an electric motor to power you wherever you need to go. Dude, it is gorgeous. Thank you. I love how it looks. Well, let's talk about what we're looking at here. Sure. The shell is made of fiberglass okay. with a foam core composite sandwich. Is this is acrylic, and the front windshield here, which is very unique, that is uh, polycarbon. This, these are the headlights? These are the headlights. Wow. It's pretty futuristic looking, man. Thank you very much. Can we open it up? Go ahead. All right. Where's the battery? It's in the back. In the production one, you'll have two ways of charging it. One way, there's going to be a plug that runs to the outside of the body. So you just plug it in okay. straight like that. But it will use a standard wall outlet to charge it. it oh, absolutely. require anything nope. special. Hey, Brian, check out this motor here. That's a pretty big motor. Now, was this recumbent bicycle built with a motor, or is the motor edition yours? The, the motor is an addition. In this uh, version of the Ginswella, we actually have what's called a Nuvinci hub. It's a infant... got a Nuvinci hub? Yes. Oh, that yeah. is a... What are you talking about? Hub. <laughs> Ginzbello uses a unique New Vinci hub, which is a constantly variable transmission. It works through a planetary drive comprised of rotating balls or planets. Changing the planet's axis will make the drive change seamlessly through an infinite number of effective gear ratios smoothly and quickly. If the hub is integrated properly, the speed and fluidity of gear changes should create a more comfortable and efficient commute by either pedaling, using the electric motor, or a combination of both modes. Okay, we've talked about it enough. Just climb on in? Yeah, pretty much. Guess you just kind of come in here, fall into the seat, huh? That wasn't yeah. too bad. Bring this down. Whoa. Oh, I see your headroom now. That's not enough headroom. No. Dude, you look like you're in hypersleep. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That looks like a bicycle. Oh, yeah. Dude. You're going pretty fast. Is it hard fast. to steer? I mean, it's a trike. Okay, what do you think, dude? That's awesome! You liked it? Oh, yeah. All right, Brian, around the parking lot is fine, but we really need to get this on the road. What do you got? All right, right dude, first off, you're a commuter, so uh, dress the part. Really? Here's your briefcase. Peter claims that the Gins Villa will provide an easy commute through the tricycle's parallel power assist function. We're going to test how visible and safe the Gins Villa is on the road while evaluating how easy it is to drive on the street. If Gins Velo does what Peter claims, I should have an easy ride to work we drive the Ginsvelo up an incline to test the pedal assist, which is the electric motor combined with pedaling. Uh-oh. What's wrong? I lost Tranny. The Ginsvelo test drive is going great, except for the popping noise. So take me through it. What happened? So we were on that little bit of a hill, right? A little bit of electric, a little bit of pedaling. All of a sudden, just pop. And I may have just thrown a cheek. Yeah, it needs to be all properly aligned. It takes a little bit of time to do that. It's a prototype, but uh, make sure it works. The prototype today is not set up very well. The chain, it popped off. My heart just sank. This test could not have gone worse. 